and good day. Today we're having a look at a rather long box. There we go. Now this is a um, mirror for uh, towing uh, trailers, caravans, boats, etc. Anything that's a bit wider than your car and it's got a magnetic support pad. Now I'm rather interested in this. This has been supplied to me for review from Super Cheap Autos. Um, so the box itself, we can have a bit of a look at it, a bit of a read as always. And on the top it says here, anti-scratch magnetic protective pad, pad reduces vibration and aids stability, fits factory and aftermarket car mirrors, suits both driver and passenger side doors, original car mirror is not obstructed, practical and safe to use, fast and easy installation, no tools required. And uh, basically we just flip around the box, bit of information on the back showing you how to fit it on the ends etc etc and uh, well let's open it up and see what's inside what have we got to go oh, okay I've got to get my little knife again so let's uh, open this thing shall we it's down there there we go so how it comes out, should lift up, oh there we go, and uh, there's what's in the box, as you can see, a mirror, and anti-scratch magnetic pad, and that's it, that's all that's in the box, so what we have to do obviously is take it outside and fit it. Now you will notice that this only has one mirror, uh, so if you decide that you need two of them, well, you buy two individual mirrors, which is, you know, some people say it's crazy, but when you think about it, if you have to buy mirrors in a pair and one of them does get broken, you have to buy another two. So buying one at a time really does make sense. Now something that's fairly important to remember when you're going to put the magnetic pad on the door and you're going to locate it make certain that the actual door the area that it's going to be fitted is clean now I don't know if you can see but this has actually got quite a bit of dust over the uh, door so I'm going to wash that down before I pop the magnetic pad in position and uh, obviously fit the mirror so I'll uh, give it a bit of a wash down being a little bit careful not to damage my Juco. And obviously I'll let that uh, dry off a little bit before I go to the next stage. Now make certain that the pad itself doesn't have any dirt on it. And it's nice and clean so when you put it up against your vehicle it's not going to uh, scratch. You'll also notice we've got a couple of holes on this side and nothing on the other. So that's where the little arms of the mirror fit which I'll do and uh, I'll come back with them already fitted. And uh, make certain that you push the shafts, both of them down, into the actual uh, holes that are there. And you've tightened up the nuts on the end and make certain that they are actually engaging on the shafts. And uh, we're up to the next stage. And the next stage, of course, is actually fitting it. So what we've got to do is locate somewhere on the vehicle where we would like to put it. And I'm thinking the mirror probably this sort of area here, I'm guessing, will be about it. So... Oh, no, a bit further forward, just so there, that'll do, give or take there, and the shaft itself can come down, the other one, I might, yep, and this one on the top, if I can show you, it's sort of a bit hard, I'm not sort of, if I come up there, there we go, this little blade, this here, actually fits down in behind the rubber, a seal on the door. Now what they recommend is you have your uh, window down and then you pop it in position to make certain the window can go up and down. Uh, I'll just see if I can push it in without doing that. And yep, there she goes. It's a bit, a bit tight but it fits. Okay, so we're in. I just realised what I've been doing wrong. There's a little hole on the back here. I couldn't see it before so that fits in. And trust me, I mean, it's, you've got vehicles going left, right and centre up and down the road. Unbelievable. So your tension is down the bottom. And 
and that will keep the arm secure coming down and you've got uh, methods on the back here of tightening and I'll just swing this around so you've got little thumb screws so you've got some, there's one here, there's one down further and you've actually got a bolt screw arrangement on the top so you can actually lock this in position uh, once you have it where you want it I want to show you how solid this uh, device is the mirror, it's really rock solid it's not going to it's not going anywhere and that's uh, something you want definitely in a towing mirror that's a definite good feature you know, I'll just take the uh, mirror off at the moment and we'll uh, show you how easy it is to get off and this little knob you just pull him forward and that's it let's go simple as that that's uh, rather brilliant I think don't you so I thought it was time to show you a couple of the other mirrors I've had over the years uh, I've got this one this is one of the original roses um, had a little suction cup to hold it on the door not a bad mirror overall except <laughs> we lost one the arm dropped off so that was not good so that kind of ruined uh, our caravan trip so we thought oh well we'll uh, upgrade and go to the next level next level was still a rosa and uh, again we got our little fittings this time it had a magnetic base on it and we thought you know this is a big improvement the biggest problem with these is vibration they, they shake around something shocking my thoughts on the mirror it's brilliant I, I cannot say anything less it surpasses the other mirrors I've been using. Um, the first one I showed you, as I say, I had that a few years back, and then I upgraded to the, the magnetic uh, single one. But the fittings are just so weak in comparison to this. Um, this is amazing. It does not move. It is rock solid. So when a truck goes by, you know how you normally get that little bit of a wind drag, and your mirror can sort of pull out of um, out of alignment, and you've got to wind your window down and align things and you get the one on the other side and it'll move perhaps if you got um, you know a, you get a bit of vibration or whatever and it jumps around well these do not move they are solid um, they are brilliant I am really impressed with them in fact I'm so impressed I'm actually going to go down and buy a second one um, and the second one is out of my own pocket it's got nothing to do with uh, super cheap giving it to me for um, review I am impressed enough to buy another one so that says what my thoughts are on this mirror go and get a couple for yourself you cannot make a mistake with these they are brilliant and uh, again thanks for watching